Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today I wanted to take a look at how to find an RDOP station to connect to when you're using Winlink. Stick around and we'll get right into it. So as you can see, I'm working from my mobile today and I'll be using the mobile radio and the little Tar Heel antenna. And that's one of the things you should take into consideration when uh, choosing your RDOP station that you want to connect to. Today, since we're using the little Tar Heel, it's a vertical antenna. So I know that I'm going to be a little bit limited on stations in close to me, but I should have better results with stations a little bit farther out. So we'll probably start somewhere around 500 miles out and away from us when we start looking for RDOP stations to connect to. All right, so the first thing I want to do is run the find RDOP script that I've written. Now, if you haven't seen this script, uh, I'll leave a link to it up in, uh, up in the top corner and also in the description below. But this is a great way to help you find RDOP stations when you're out in the field. And once we've got find RDOP running, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and take a look at the map. So I'm going to choose option two and that should open a map up for us and we'll go ahead and maximize that on the screen okay so i am down here in the echo mike grid square uh somewhere actually roughly right in this area here right now and again since we're using a vertical antenna i'm going to look a little bit farther out away from me so i think i'm going to start in the echo november grid square so let's jump back to the find rdop script and let's set our grid with option one and tell it echo November. Now, after we've set the grid, the next thing we do is choose the band. And today we're gonna try to use the 40 meter band. So we'll enter option two for the 40 meter band and it'll give us a list of stations. So I'm gonna start with this station right here, NS0A. So I'm gonna just copy that call sign and you'll notice there's two frequencies listed over here, 7109 and 7110.5. One of those is the center frequency and the other is the dial frequency. So I'm gonna set the radio to the dial frequency of 7109 and then we'll see if we can make a connection. So right here we'll say 7109 and that should set the radio. Now let's jump over to Pat and try that connection. Inside of Pat, we're gonna hit the action button and connect. For our transport mode, we'll use RDOP. We'll go ahead and paste in the call sign that we copied. And let's go ahead and choose connect to see if we can connect up with that station. All right, and as you can see, we did not get, it says unable to establish a connection. So we didn't get a connection to that station. We're gonna have to try for another station. So let's jump back to the find RDOP script. And we'll take this first station here on the list. So I'm gonna copy that call sign. And we need a dial frequency of 7101. So I went ahead and set the radio at 7101. And let's see if we can get a connection to that one inside of Pat. So again, we'll choose the connect. Our mode is still set for RDOP. And we'll just paste in this new call sign and go ahead and try to make a connection to that station. All right, and once again, I was unable to establish the connection. Now that's the thing with Winlink, you gotta keep playing with it uh, using different antennas and different setups until you find stations that you can connect to reliably. It's been a while since I've used this little Tar Heel in the Jeep for a Winlink connection, so it may take me a few more tries this morning. Let's see what else we can try to connect to. All right, we'll go ahead and try this one on the list. And it looks like that one's about 1,314 kilometers from us. We need a rig setting of 7102. And it actually sounds like I'm hearing some traffic on that station on the radio. So let's go ahead and change grids and try something else. So this time we'll set our grid square to Echo Lima. And let's jump back to the map real quick. You can see Echo Lima is down here in Florida. So let's go back and let's try the 40 meter band again. 
All right, so let's just go ahead and try KX4Z this morning. All right, guys, as you can see, I've been poking around at this for probably the last 20 minutes or so, uh, looking for a station to connect to. I was beginning to think something uh, was wrong with the rig, and the rig wasn't getting out. But I went back to uh, one of my favorite stations, K0SI. I was kind of surprised I was able to make that connection uh, using a completely different antenna than I typically use. Uh, but I am into that station, and you can see right here that it is actually starting to make a connection. So I probably tried uh, a dozen other stations to get into this morning with zero success. Uh, I, I honestly didn't think K0SI was going to work out, but I am showing connected to it. So stick with it, keep trying uh, different stations, and uh, sooner or later you will find a few that you can make a solid connection with on a regular basis. All right, guys, I hope this video helps you out. Thank you for your continued support, and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.